So hey, uh, this is Casey and John George, and today we want to show you a project we've been building as a side hustle to help busy professionals and small business owners to never miss another call. So the name of the project is Call VA, and it uses VAPI under the hood for the voice agent orchestration. So the idea is to lower the bar and try to make it super easy to set up your voice agent with as little configuration as possible. So today we're going to be showing you um, how to get a fully functional voice agent by doing what most of us are quite good at, and that is talking. Okay, cool. So we think, we think this is pretty sick. So without further ado, let's jump into the demo. Okay, yeah. So um, this is Cool VA. We decided for the VAPI competition, which is, this is our entry to, we would add a voice layer to this. So we've got some VAP inception going on here. Um, so yeah, let's talk to this. So essentially you can set up your assistant, which is currently just blanked. We have like a blank Cool VA here completely set up with a new database. And uh, we'll set up the assistant with a voice interface. Hi there, I'm Alex, and I'm here to help you create your own AI voice assistant for handling your missed calls. This will just take a few minutes, and by the end, you'll have a personalized assistant ready to help your callers. What's your full name? My full name is Luigi Mario. Great to meet you, Luigi. Is this voice assistant for your personal use or for a business? It's for my plumbing business. Perfect. Tell me about your plumbing business. What's it called and what kind of services do you offer? So it's the Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services and we do emergency repairs, fixing burst pipes, blockages and such, some boiler servicing, bathroom installations and just general plumbing maintenance. That sounds fantastic, Luigi. Helping people with emergencies and installations is so important. What are your typical business hours? We work nine to five Monday to Friday, but we also have emergency call outs in evenings and weekends for additional fees. Thanks, Luigi. That flexibility is really valuable for your customers. Can you tell me what people usually call about and if there are any specific questions they tend to ask when they reach out? Yep, so I mean, they'll call out because they have like plumbing issues they need us to sort out. Um, they'll usually ask if we cover their area because we only cover CT20 and CT19. And by the way, that's something we will want you to check on every call just to make sure they're in our catchment area. Um, they'll ask like how much a call out costs. And the answer is it's 50 pounds normally if we come out and 100 pounds for emergencies if it's outside of our normal hours. Um, they also sometimes ask if we can give a quote over the phone, which we don't do actually. We always have to do all final quotes settled in person. But if they want, um, we can give them indicative quotes by email. If they send us photos of the job and area that needs to be done, we can start a communication that way. That's really helpful, Luigi. Thank you for sharing those details. Now let's give your assistant a name. How about Emma? Does that work for you? Well, I was actually thinking of calling him Mr. Toad, and we want a male assistant. Mr. Toad is a great choice. We'll make sure your assistant has a male voice. How would you like Mr. Toad to sound more formal and professional or friendly and conversational? Uh, more friendly and conversational. Perfect. Now let's talk about what Mr. Toad can do for your callers. Naturally, he'll always take detailed messages when you're not available. Earlier, you mentioned that people often ask if you cover their area, what your call-out costs are, and if you can give quotes over the phone. Would you like Mr. Toad to handle those questions directly? Yes, please. Great. For the first question, when callers ask if you cover their area, how would you like Mr. Toad to answer that? So... Um, well, I would actually like Mr. Toad to be proactive in this situation and always ask callers whether they're in CT20 or CT19 to establish whether or not we um, cover their area. And if we don't, then he can just gracefully say that we don't handle the area and end the call. That makes sense, Luigi. For the second question, when someone asks about your call-out costs, how should Mr. Toad answer? Yeah, so 50 pounds if it's in normal hours and 100 pounds for emergencies. Got it. And for the question about giving quotes over the phone, how would you like Mr. Toad to respond? 
Just how I said earlier. Absolutely. So, Mr. Toad will let callers know that you don't give final quotes over the phone, but can provide indicative quotes by email if they send photos of the job and area that needs work. That's right, Would you yeah. like Mr. Would you like Mr. Toad to share your email address with callers who want to send photos for an indicative quote? Yep, yeah, so that is luigi at mushroom.co.uk. Perfect, thank you. Would it be helpful for Mr. Toad to provide those basic pricing details, the 50 pounds for standard call out and 100 for emergencies, to callers who ask or to mention them proactively if the caller seems unsure? Should mention them proactively just to make sure they're okay with the um, costs. Great call, Luigi. Now, how would you like Mr. Toad to greet callers? For example, Hello, you've reached Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. I'm Mr. Toad, Luigi's assistant. How can I help you? Does that sound good or would you like to tweak it? That sounds perfect. Do that. Excellent. And when the conversation ends, how should Mr. Toad sign off? For example, thanks for calling. I'll make sure Luigi gets your message right away. Would you like to use that or do you have a preferred closing line? Well, how about um, thank you for thinking of Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services will be in touch within a couple of hours. That's a great closing line, Luigi. Is there anything specific about how you'd like Mr. Toad to handle calls? Any special instructions or situations you want him to be aware of? Um, so I'd like them to know that our usual response time is within two hours during business hours. So if they ask, for example, how long does it take to get back to us, say within a couple of hours. Perfect, Luigi. Let me make sure I have the key details. Mr. Toad will handle missed calls for Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. He'll use a male voice that's friendly and conversational. He'll always ask if callers are in CT20 or CT19 and gracefully end the call if they're outside your area. He'll proactively mention your standard and emergency call-out fees. He'll explain that quotes aren't given over the phone, but indicative quotes can be given by email, if callers send photos, sharing your email address as needed. He'll greet callers with your preferred opening and close with, Thank you for thinking of Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. We'll be in touch within a couple of hours. He'll let callers know your usual response time is within two hours during business hours. Does that sound right, or is there anything you'd like to adjust? Yeah, that's perfect, Alex. Thank you. Perfect. I have everything I need to create your voice assistant. Give me just a moment to set this up for you. Okay, so now we wait while the end of call report, which Vapi um, sends, comes in, and we should see hopefully a whole configuration appear as if by magic. There we go. Mr. Toad, Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. We didn't have to yeah, that's any amazing. configuration. It's amazing. All the FAQs are there, pricing and stuff. Yeah, good stuff. So next step is that we can actually call the assistant. Now I'm going to be playing the role of the person in the need of the plumbing services. So let me dial that phone number. And just for the um, reference, that phone number has been pre-configured, but what we want to do, obviously, is to have the numbers uh, allocated completely automatically just for the demo purposes. We have pre-configured the number to not waste any time. So let me let me do the call. Hello, you've reached Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. Hi, Mr. Toad, Luigi's assistant. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, I have a leakage in my kitchen that I want you guys to look at. Um, can I get a quote, please? I'm sorry to hear about the leak. Before we go further, could you let me know if your property is in the CT20 or CT19 postcode area? We only cover those locations. I'm actually in CT24. Is that a problem? Thanks for letting me know. Unfortunately, Luigi Mario only covers the CT20 and CT19 areas so we wouldn't be able to assist with plumbing oh i i see that okay let's uh let's actually change that i just remembered that i'm in ct19 that's correct thank you for confirming you're in ct19 we can definitely help with your kitchen leak our standard call out fee is 50 cents during normal business hours nine to five monday to friday
Friday for emergency call-outs during evenings and weekends. The fee is $100. We don't provide final quotes over the phone. But if you email photos of the leak and the area to luigi at mushroom.co.uk, we can send you an indicative quote. Our usual response time is within two hours during business hours. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Like I actually, I'm not in a rush. The leakage is mild. I just want to get it fixed. So as soon as you guys can get back to me, uh, just send me maybe a time when, uh, or just let somebody call and find a good time when to come and to take a look and fix this. Sure, I'll let Luigi Mario know about your kitchen leak and that it's not urgent. Could I have your name so I can pass your message along? Yeah, it's Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. I'll make sure Luigi Mario receives your message about the mild kitchen leak and that you're looking to arrange a convenient time for a visit. If you'd like an indicative quote, you can send photos of the leak to Luigi at mushroom.co.uk. Okay, thanks for calling. Thanks a lot for help. Yeah, looking forward to getting the quote from you guys and having my leakage fixed. You're welcome, Dennis. Um, Luigi Mario will be in touch soon to arrange a visit and provide an indicative quote if you send photos by email. Thanks for calling Mushroom Kingdom Plumbing Services. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Okay. That's just about it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, well, uh, as I as I mentioned earlier, the idea of this whole thing is to have a super low barrier uh, system, uh, super low barrier for entry into the voice agent uh, service, so that if you are running a business and you are uh, not a tech person, then actually all it takes is going through the onboarding process with the voice agent that will ask you intelligently all the questions about your business, your propositions, your pricing, your availability and also a bunch of different additional tools like you see here on screen right now, like sharing contact information, sending SMS, and like uh, delivering, for example, the email address over uh, SMS if it's a more complicated address that is hard to pronounce, stuff like that. So yeah, uh, hope you liked it. Uh, we think it's amazing. Um, yeah, I'll let John add anything on top of what, um, what we've said already. Well, that's pretty much it. Like I'll just point out that this is it's Vapi that made this really easy to build. We did this in a couple of weekends, actually. Like this, actually, the um, the new assistant that builds the other assistant one weekend, just because of all the structured data extraction automation that's built into Vapi. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, that's it from our side, guys. Um, have a good rest of the day. Take care. I almost hit that red button as if I'm signing I off. almost did that as well, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs>